PhD dissertation. Now to questions about Trump's pick for Treasury Secretary, former Goldman Sachs partner Steve Mnuchin. There are allegations that he ran a bank in California that only wanted white customers. Mnuchin's confirmation is set for Thursday. On Wednesday, Senate Democrats tell CNN they plan to have what they call a shadow hearing about Mnuchin's nomination, calling witnesses who say his bank did them wrong. CNN senior investigative correspondent Drew Griffin tonight reports. Two California advocacy groups have filed a complaint with the federal government alleging the bank once owned by Steve Mnuchin, Donald Trump's pick for Treasury Secretary, discriminated against minorities. The group's complaint is based on its own analysis alleging One West, under Mnuchin's leadership, engaged in redlining, avoiding doing business in Los Angeles' minority communities. They have zero branches in African American communities, and in a county like Los Angeles County, that's really um, uh, seems impossible, doesn't it? Polina uh, Gonzalez of California Reinvestment Coalition says the argument Mnuchin was involved in redlining goes like this. In 2009, Mnuchin took over a failing California bank and gave it a new name, One West. The bank came with dozens of bank branches spread across Southern California. And when you put those bank branches on a map, like the advocacy groups did, you will notice major gaps where the branches are not located. These red dots represent bank branches. They are located where white people live and very few blacks, Latinos, or Asians. We saw that between 2014, 2015, for example, they made two loans to African Americans. And if you look at a map of their branches, they basically do not have branches in communities of color. If you think that sounds low, it is precisely what the government reported from its database called the Federal Home Mortgage Disclosure Act. Gonzalez's study reveals 83% of the bank's mortgage lending went to whites, far more, the group says, than the industry average, and less than 2% of their loans went to blacks, far less than industry average. Sherry Jackson has been a real estate agent in downtown Los Angeles for three decades. She says she met Steve Mnuchin in 2014 and says she even tried to pressure him to do more business with minorities, but says she got nowhere. I met him. Uh, we met there. I've seen what's been going on. I've seen what the bank has done. It's very clear this bank, what the bank is doing. Like other nominated Trump cabinet secretaries, Steve Mnuchin is relying on transition officials to defend him against claims like this. But in this case, the claims have already gone nowhere. Similar complaints filed with federal bank regulators have gotten little, if any, attention. And this new complaint filed with the Department of Housing and Urban Development has only gotten an acknowledgement from HUD that all complaints are looked into, but potentially nothing more. A Trump transition spokesperson says there's a good reason these latest redlining allegations are going nowhere. They aren't true. The spokesperson says Mnuchin bought a bank that already had branches in place. Mnuchin didn't build them, he bought them. And he bought them for one reason. He knew he could make money on them. His supporters say it was all business. Had nothing to do with race, redlining, or denying any minority group access to banking. It had to do with making good business decisions. Precisely, says the transition official, why Steve Mnuchin is Trump's pick to run the Department of Treasury. Drew Griffin, CNN, Atlanta.